everyone. How's it going? Wrapping up the stream today. I'm, I'm Talon Wadsworth. I'm the lead designer for Adobe XD and my partner in crime today, again. <laughs> yes, uh, Danielle Morimoto, and I'm a designer on Adobe Project 1324. All right, all right. We got, um, I, I have graduated to full-time host. We're giving Michael a break today <laughs> after six hours of streaming. Uh, well deserved. Oh, ju jumping right into it, uh, they warned me, Tim, that rulers were going to come up today. <laughs> Rule? What are you talking about? Who <laughs> uses rulers? I don't know. I don't know those designers. Do you know those? Des who do you I'm, use rulers? I've never heard of. Such I don't. A thing I don't know. <laughs> He's still hanging around. He just can't get enough of it. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so there is a contest going on. Yeah. Okay. They have two hours to share with you a, a prototype. Okay. And the theme is travel. Travel. Okay. Is there a right. thing today? Because tomorrow it will be a new theme. New theme. Oh. All right, okay. keeping it fresh. So maybe, how can we do that? All right. How can I pass you some URLs? Slack? So yeah, Slack, Slack with me. I, was, I Slack you some URLs. Okay. All, right. All right, open Slack. Like nobody, okay. yes, yes, nobody read my Slack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get tricky. <laughs> yes, it is, yes it is. We'll just make sure Chris is not putting my screen up while I'm Slacking and talking about, we need to add rulers, why are they asking me about rulers? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, grids, grids, James, we have grids. We've got some grids. So that's, this is a good point. So everybody, here we are on Behance. If you've got questions about XD, you've got questions about Adobe Design. Again, one of the things about Danielle and I is we are colleagues, but inside of the Adobe Design organization here at Adobe. So we are a team of over over 100 designers. I don't know the exact number. We're over 200 now. Oh, oh my gosh, that's... Yeah crazy. So designers, developers, researchers, and we work on all the products here at Adobe. Danielle and I, we have our areas of expertise, but you know, we sit right next to the designers working on Acrobat, working on the marketing cloud, working on Photoshop, and we all just kind of, you know, work together on a daily basis. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so if you've got questions about Adobe design, let us know. Um, yeah. And we want to, uh, yeah, send us your questions. We'll be paying attention. So all right, so let's see. How's everybody, how's everybody doing here? So, <laughs> Project Fedora. We haven't we haven't named one. We've still, talked about Project yeah, we, Fedora we have, many times. Yes. Yeah. What is Project Fedora? I don't know. We'll have to come up. Maybe that's. I know. Maybe I that's forgot my hat. This oh, you're going to wear the hat. I know. It's going to happen one of, one of these times. I I've sort of slowly realized it's become like a thing. It's uh, definitely a thing. It I just really know. started a thing to like keep sun off my head, and now it's turned into like a much bigger thing. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, the recolor UI button. That was that was a good project. That's still up and available. So mm -hmm. if you guys go, we last time Danielle and I, if you were paying attention at home, we designed a feature for XD uh, for leaving comments and annotations. Um, we called it Project Loop. And let me actually let's let's pull it up. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um. So the last time, so that's kind of the thing is that we end up like to do is we actually like to design new features for XD live here with all of you, which has been pretty fun. Um, well, we'll find it in a minute. So last time we designed features for annotations uh, and the time before that, I think Michael and I, we designed um, recoloring artwork project Fedora as it was one of the alternate names for it. So, <laughs> um, cool, well, let's see. Um, so, Tanov had a great question. Can you drag and drop artwork from other Adobe software to XD? Yes, you can. You Actually, we just uh, launched um, support for Creative Cloud Libraries. So if you are using Creative Cloud Libraries, you can now launch that window inside of XD and add any graphics, or you can use character styles or color swatches if you added from, from any of the other Adobe apps. So that's pretty exciting. So. Yeah, and to um, Kyle's point of the, you know, can you add comments on artboards? That was what we explored last time. Yes. With all of the annotations yes. of, you know, if you want to add comments, do you want to add them on an artboard level, a file level, or like even like object level? And mm. so that's what we were sort that of looking at good. last time. I can't, I find that real quick. Let me see. There it was. Project loop. All right. Oh, that's like an early phase one. Let me see. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to find it real quick. Yeah, I think we had a higher fidelity one. Yes, we did. We did. With the Kanye gift. 
con that was, that was really good. That was a good one. Let's go. Um, <laughs> here we are. September. Was it day two? I think it was this one. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So we had. So Danielle and I last time thought, well, wouldn't it be great? Like, you know, one of the things we do is communicate with other designers who are working with maybe in the same file. So the ability to select any object and see this little comment icon pop up and be able to then click on it and actually add a comment or an annotation on this specific object on the canvas. And then once that was added, it got added to like a global feed of comments. And you could use this global feed of comments to, basically as you were kind of you know, moving around the canvas, if you selected one artboard, you see just the, con the filter, just the comments for that artboard. But you could also use this comment stream to actually navigate to, directly to another part of the document. So that was that version. I think I had the, the GIF version. So then we thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually select something and maybe add maybe an, attach an image to it or attach a reaction GIF. <laughs> and there is Kanye giving his approval for the design. Yes. Uh, so that was that was pretty that was pretty exciting. So that's Project Loop, as we called it, and I think that's still out there at this link right here. Yep. So you can go out and find that on the web. I'll post that to Twitter as well, so you guys can go check that out. Yeah, and you can leave comments. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think we'll there were a few comments on there too. Yeah. So yep, we'll post that up. So again, that's kind of the cool part about like kind of what we've gotten up to here on the live streams is using XD to design XD, you know, as, as you know, my team does every day and just a way for us to, again, I, I don't think there's any other app that can really allow for you to like prototype and test in real time. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Yeah. Nice job. It's super fast. Yeah, look at that. We're done. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about what we did last time. That's yeah. Right. That's, yeah. That's that was just kind of a wrap now. up for that. Um, all right, and you guys, if you're coming and joining us now, remember we are having a contest. So if you guys design an app with a travel theme and post those links either in the chat or on Twitter, then we'll go check them out. And at the end, we'll do we'll do a little critique of it and give away a year Creative Cloud subscription. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so cool. Hey, everyone. Let's see. Joel. 14 year old aspiring UX and UI designer. Uh, wondering if you should switch from Photoshop to XD. Uh, have you, you, you should go try XD. Yeah, definitely try XD, especially if you're working on like trying, wanting to prototype anything really quickly. Um, just that feature to be able to do that mm -hmm. and, and preview it and then share that link out and get feedback is really useful. Yeah, yeah. it is. I, I mean, like I said, like Joel, I design in XD using XD. So I think that's a pretty good vote of confidence. So uh, yeah, I would definitely go check out XD if you're looking to jump into designing UX and UI. Uh, what's great is that the I think the learning curve is pretty pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna and, say if you're already in Photoshop, I mean going to XD it's pretty minimal. Mm -hmm. um, so I think you'll be pretty quick to to learn and, and move forward with mm -hmm. your designs there. Yeah. Plus that we have this great uh, tutorial file. So if you go to and, and download XD and launch it. Start with this, we have this really great tutorial file where you basically design an app <laughs> with me. <laughs> um, and sort of walk you through kind of all the greatest hits of, of designing with Adobe XD. So check it out. All right. Um, oh no, here, Tim's still pushing the rulers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, us the ruler. Yes. Wow, really pushing it. Wow, wow. Um, hey there, Para from Algeria. It's always great to see people sort of tuning in from everywhere. That's kind of one of the most exciting parts of this. Um, all right. Well, we're on Behance now, which is really exciting. And Danielle and I were kind of chatting a little bit beforehand, but we wanted to kind of start today by talking about like where we get our inspiration. You know, like where do we get the inspiration for designing the features in XD or just designing in general? Um, so if you guys have any, where do you guys get your, where do you guys get inspiration? How do you, you know, get, get all those sort of creative sort of, you know, energy flowing um, before you start a project? I know, and, um, 
How about you, Daniela? Where do you start? Yeah, I mean, a lot of times I am working with my team and working on different projects, and I come along like different problems that I'm just running into. Yeah. Um, and sort of as I talk with other designers about the problems I'm running into, a lot of times I hear that they are running into similar things. Mm -hmm. um, and when I start to hear like engage how much other people are running into the same problems or not, um, sometimes I realize there might be something there to explore, um, just out of conversations with other people as we're looking at work or just talking about things and. The conversation will just kind of keep flowing so like when we were at max like uh, the max conference last week oh yeah max um, yeah there's great. yeah a lot of designers there and so big xd announcement i know yeah <laughs> the first release which yes is crazy. yes it's exciting yes. <laughs> Um, but a lot of things sort of came out of conversations with that. Um, we were looking at or just talking about designs. Mm -hmm. and so for me, like that is one area where I'll get inspiration, where we're just sort of like talking and jamming on ideas and people will talk about the problems that they're running into. And most of the time you'll find, you know, other people have the same problems. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of start to talk about well, what what could we do to like fix those? Mm -hmm. Right. Or like what's the solution to that? Yeah, definitely. That definitely. I mean, you know. I have, I'm pretty lucky to be able to sort of be designing an app that I use to design all the time. So, like when I look when I look at my own things that I find maybe it's bothering me a little bit or it's I keep running into this into this wall, uh, or I hear other designers. We actually we have a Slack channel where all the designers in our organization are actually talking about how they use XD. So that's like a huge resource for us as a team. It's just be able to kind of dip into that Slack channel and just see how people are using XD. I mean, that's probably our biggest inspiration point. Yeah, because I was going to say, even when you do, when you know that there's a problem, it's hard also sometimes to design and try and figure out what that problem is when you don't have the exact sample source of mm -hmm, it. So mm -hmm. I feel like with that Slack too, it's helpful to have other designers show exactly like the specific case of the problem and mm -hmm. the instance that they're running into so you can figure out, oh, okay, that's exactly what it looks like. Like, how do we solve it? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, Taysir, he mentioned that he his inspiration from Behance, and that's that's a great place for. I always like browsing Behance. Mm -hmm. I think there's actually a made with XD tag, oh, which is like an easy way to sort of see like all the great work that's being that's being done in XD actually on Behance. So that's a really great place. Um, yeah, and I think that w one of the places that I get a lot of inspiration from, I think, is just using tools using other apps that's that's a big deal for me too um you know whether it's i think right now i really you know there's a lot of apps that i really like and i'm always sort of seeing you know new new ideas or new concepts or new features that are being added to non-design apps and just getting really inspired by um maybe how contextual they are or how sort of intuitive it is to sort of use them i'm always sort of like whether it's you know, mobile apps or desktop apps or on the web, I'm always just looking for you know, that new, that thing that can help me work better or work faster. And I'm always just sort of drawing inspiration from that. That's yeah. kind of a lot of the stuff we did last time with Project Loop yeah. uh, was me just sort of being inspired by um, basically like productivity applications. Like that's really where a lot of that inspiration came from, I think for me last time yeah. around. Yeah, so. and I get inspired not only by using things that are really great, but also by things that aren't great. Yeah. Like when I use something that's really bad, I realize I'm like, man, like this is not working, but like why isn't it working? And yeah. like how could it be better? And so sometimes I use something that's just like so bad that I, I have to show it to someone else and they're like, oh man, like this, like what, why is it this way and like what could we could work that would be different yeah so it's sort of like double-sided on that i totally totally agree with you it's yeah. like I, always thinking like i think like always my significant others or my wife uh, now in particular always uh, I'm that, that design brain just like never turns off whether it's like critiquing <laughs> fonts and like the titles of movies or it's just like critiquing like apps like while we're using them or like you know, when I know my wife was doing some stuff and just like signing my son up for some things like through school and like the web experience was so terrible that I was like critiquing it and wanting to fix it like right then and there. Yeah. She's like, stop. I didn't <laughs> help me it's do like this. Too much. Yeah, too much. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. How's everybody doing in the chat? Do you guys working on your travel apps? You guys you have anything to sort of show us in the next time? Just start posting them and we'll go check them out. Uh, hit us up on Twitter as well. Um, yeah. And we'll be voting I will be critiquing Danielle and I to award a prize later in the stream. Um, so, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, kind of got Danielle and I talking about this sort of inspiration is that um, XD has a forum where you can actually go on and actually suggest new features. 
And last time, that's actually how we got kind of inspired to, to do Project Loop, our commenting annotation feature in XD, is just looking at some of the requests that were flowing into that user voice forum. So it's adobexd.uservoice.com. And there you can go and people can add new ideas and other people can vote up or down on those. And that really helps like the whole team be inspired and really be connected to what everybody's really interested in seeing inside of XD and really helps us guide our roadmap. Um, actually, Danielle has it has it up here on her screen if you guys want to see the latest that's going on on there. Yeah. So here it is. So adobexd.usevoice.com. And, you know, Danielle and I were just kind of like sifting through here, just seeing, you know, like what everybody is requesting. What features would you like to see most in XD? Um, and where we were kind of drawing a lot of a lot of inspiration. Yeah. Yeah, and some of these are, you know, like in the backlog. I always think it's interesting to see when you guys are like already thinking about some of these ideas. A lot of them you guys already have some ideas around um, or in the works. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, the team is very active just on giving updates and providing feedback. And sometimes we even post like some of the prototypes we're creating actually on, on the user voice forum and get feedback directly on early concepts or ideas or early uh, prototypes or even builds of, of XT. So that's pretty great. Um, so Danielle came across a pretty interesting one today, or was it on the forum, or did you, you were just thinking of I was of just one. sort of thinking about, I mean, I think from, so from the Max conference, yeah. and sort of seeing some of the things around um, Adobe Sensei that was shown in the um, keynote oh, at yeah. the conference, yeah. um, there was some visualizations around that, um, I have a screenshot of, of one of those, and it's so small. There was this moment that they had on on the big keynote stage of all of these different nodes, and it was pretty crazy. But it was you know all of this um, ideas of kind of going back in time or the decisions that you start to make. And right now I'm sort I'm starting like this this team of thinking around um, like future ideas, and so like all of these moments of having these little ideas or pivot moments are really important. And as I work on a design, sometimes I find that you know, you come to a crossroads or a moment where you could go in one direction or you could go in another mm -hmm. and you end up moving forward, but then that other idea kind of gets lost yeah. or, you know, two years later you come back and you're like, oh, I remember we had some idea around this, but I don't know what it was. Um, and so I've been trying to think around, like, how do you not lose those ideas mm -hmm. and keep track of them in some way? Um, because they could be gems later on or you realize like three three years later, someone actually did that idea and you were like, man, I had that. Like, we should have gone back and explored it. Yeah. Um, and so I was sort of thinking a little bit about that and it ties into sort of visual versioning, but a little mm. bit different. Like it's not just around like taking a different visual design and, and looking at, oh, if I use this color versus this color or kind of this shape and this, but more around also like just concepting like ideas. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think everybody kind of does that, right? Like, like when, as you're designing, you're 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 really just thinking visually, and so you know there are a lot of times when I'm just like, I'll I'll have a design going, and then I'll copy and paste it, and I'll mm -hmm. tweak it a little bit, and then I'll copy and paste that, and I'll change it a little more, or I'll go back to where I started, and I'll copy from there again, and and then go, and then in a lot of extreme cases, I'll actually duplicate the whole file and create a whole separate version and do that whole V1, V2, V3 thing. And it's really because I'm thinking as I'm designing and I'm actively, yeah. you know, just kind of questioning the choices that I'm making and trying out something different, something that may not work at all, but always wanting to get back, you know, always wanting to follow that thread. And that's one of the things I loved about. So the Adobe Sensei demo in the keynote that you can actually go check out, I think it's archived on YouTube. Yeah. Um, you can go and basically they just they just sort of diet they walked you through the designing the this poster and then at the end they sort of revealed that you know Adobe Sensei, which is sort of the sort of technology in the cloud from Adobe, was keeping track of all those little design moves. And so you could actually see the decision tree like in real time and actually go back and interact with it and see the design kind of roll back through all those those versions. Yeah, so, it, was, yeah. it was an interesting vision piece it was, for it sure. Was yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> but it got me thinking about it and thinking about if you could have that in your files or like within the process of when you're actually making it in XD. Like, what what would that kind of look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one um, one area kind of maybe consider we you know um, 
you know, like uh, Apple has a version history. It's very visual, you know, that sort of like timeline, mm -hmm. you know, the time machine feature. And, but I haven't really seen, you know, any other tool that really had a very visual way of tracking changes over time. And the Apple one is very limiting because it really is only like, you know, yesterday at this time. But, you know, I want to see all those laid out. And I want to be able to say like, oh, I, let me choose this one. You know, and then then kind of choose that one and kind of go forward from there, but mm -hmm. still have access to all those ones from the past. Yeah. yeah, and also have it associated with like a design or a visual maybe that you have in mind for that new direction that you want to go. So when you come back, it might maybe like you just have a note to yourself, or maybe it's also you have this artboard attached with this note or something, so you yeah. have, it can remind you what that idea was. Yeah, the note. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So. I don't know what you guys think, but I think, you know, Danielle and I were kind of excited to maybe see how this would look in XD. Actually go and actually prototype what this kind of visual versioning would, experience would look like inside of XD. So again, rather than duplicating a bunch of separate artboards or, you know, save as and doing a bunch of different files, actually have them all be connected in this, in this, in this tree yeah. of decision making, design decision making. Um, Cool. Well, there's a couple questions in the chat I wanted to sort of go back and address. Tobias, um, no current way to get from HTML to XD, but we are working right now on a way to deliver specs, uh, design specs, like to your developer. And part of the one things we're investigating is being able to possibly even you know, display not just the styles and colors that you're using, but also maybe even, maybe even HTML or CSS snippets. So that's something you might be interested in go over to the user voice forum and, and give it an upvote and things where the team is actively working on right now. Um, any other questions, let us know. Um, but I think we want to maybe see if we can't, can't dive into this idea a little more. Yeah. All right. So first off, I just wanted to sort of say and give some props to our colleagues on the brand team. This new, new icon uh, in XD, uh, I'm all, I'm just loving it right now. Uh, there it is, there it is down in my dock. Ooh, actually sitting right next to the new Lightroom CC icon as well. So this is a whole new family uh, of icons for Adobe Creative Cloud. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, and XD is not still in beta to answer that question. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So Greg, that Very was a big exciting. announcement last week. Last week at Adobe Max, we announced XD 1.0 shipping as of last week. So you can go and you can actually subscribe to all of Creative Cloud to get access to XD, access to XD, or you can subscribe just to XD, which is which is pretty awesome. You can do very similar. I think you can do the same with Photoshop and or with Lightroom too. So. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. So that's that was the that was the sort of event for why the new icon is there. So if you go up to the downloader and update, update to the latest, you'll see the new icon. Actually, some and yeah. some new file type icons too, um, which I want to give a shout out to the brand team as well. Um, our colleagues on the brand team actually revamped, and it's been a while since we've seen a new file type icon um, from the Adobe apps. Yeah, they had a lot of changes. Yeah, they just came with the the new. Yeah, updates. really nice, really nice work. So, quick shout out to to our friends on the yeah. Adobe brand team. Very nice work. All right, so we have here in XD a great starting point. We have the master template. So this is the design template that my me and my team use to design XD. Things definitely get a little weird. <laughs> toolbars in toolbars inside of toolbars all kinds of craziness going on but we, we, we make it work somehow so this is the file that that uh, that we're gonna I think we'll, we'll sort of build on today but I think we're gonna figure out how do we design this this visual version feature for XD and don't forget, we need a name. So everybody needs to be thinking about a name. Danielle, yes. be thinking about a catchy name. Okay. All right. Other than Project Fedora. <laughs> catchy name. It's not very descriptive. Relevant well, it doesn't describe. <laughs> Relevant to our we'll interests. See. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we talked earlier kind of about some of the inspiration and where we kind of find inspiration. And as we were talking before we kind of came in here about 
this um, visual versioning or this kind of mind mapping, it made me think of this app that I love that I use at kind of the startup projects when I'm you know, trying to sort of map out or brainstorm mm -hmm. and it's called um, MindNode and it's got some really, really sweet interactions. And so here inside of MindNode, I can start with, with kind of like one, one node here. All right, but then as I hover over on the side of this little little pod, I get a little plus button, and I just click on that, and it just gives me a whole new little line item, sort of branching off from this main this main sort of node. So I can say um, iteration, and if I hover over again, I can just branch off another one, and it's automatically creating now these sort of color coded branches. Um, As I go, and then as you know, again, like if I want to branch off from here, and do you know, do copy paste, do another one, do save as. All right. So we use this kind of early in the process to, to just kind of brainstorm and kind of connect ideas. Right. This is going to be these threads are going to be the things that that really kind of connect a bunch of ideas together. That I really liked. Yeah, yeah, and I think like one thing I was thinking about when I was also thinking about mind mapping in this regard is, like, this is something that happens during the process. Like while you're in your files and you're designing, like you might not just at the beginning have all these text items that you want to mind map, but when you're actually designing and you have visuals, you might also have those associations that you might want to integrate. And I think that that's where it's like a good place to think about. Well, what would this sort of look like or this idea of having some type of mind mapping in XD where mm. you're doing all of that process of thinking and exploring. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's that's, that's that's kind of an exciting idea. I know we were getting kind of geeked out about it about it before we, we came in today. Mm -hmm. Um so having like a version um you know something like this in XD where I could be like working on an artboard and then I could quickly make a copy of it and change something about it and then make another copy of that and change something about that, but then have this line, this thread connecting mm -hmm. all of those decisions. And then maybe at the end, being able to sort of choose the best one. Yeah, yeah. or even in, when you're hitting that plus, instead of just having like copy, like text that you're doing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe you can just associate that with an artboard that you're working on right now. Oh yeah. Right, so it's yeah. you're kind of like pasting a little moment to remind yourself what it is you're linking mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. um, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even at the end, like play back through it all. Yeah. Too. That could be. That could be cool. All right. All right. Project linker. We got some names coming up. Yeah. Keep thinking about names. <laughs> there you go, Tim. Project. I like yeah. that. I like that. Um, yes. All right. Okay. So we have some inspiration. We have the things that that we all end up doing. And again, just to sort of. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me go. So we have. We have this ready-made design file, which is awesome. So again, like if I wanted to sort of try something new, the thing that I would normally do inside of XD, let's just say I wanted to copy um, this screen right here. All right, as so I create a new file, I paste that in there, and then I would copy and paste like that, and then maybe I'd pick up this whole element, and maybe I wanted to sort of, sort of change the orientation of this a little bit move that down, maybe I'd move this over here, right? So I'd try something like that, and then I would take this and I would copy and paste it and put it there, and then you know, do something again to really try doing, try out some different ideas here. Maybe I would get rid of that all together and move that directly right there. All right, and this is how I would work. And then, you know, maybe go back here. And again, on and so on and so forth. So there's a way for us to, and again, once it starts happening, and you can imagine this over and over with, you know, tens, hundreds of artboards, things get messy really fast. So also I think we wanna be kind of considering, again, like if we think about the end of our project is something like this file, you know, how do we, how do we allow for all this iteration and variation to happen within a file that might be huge by the time we're sort of done yeah. with it. So I think it's definitely something we want to be considering as well. Yeah, do we want it on the canvas, like contextually on there, or do we want it sort of a little bit separate and more high level, I think is sort of mm -hmm. something to think about, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with, oh, uh, Adobe oh. Photo Sup. <laughs> 
Nice one, Greg. There you go. Um, I like that you guys are going trying to figure out now the thread. You know, it's always funny, like I'm sort of like looking at the like talking and then like, I'm looking at the screen and I'm like, wait, where were we? Yeah, I'm like, what's <laughs> happening on the thread? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So Danielle, where do you want to start here? What do how do we wanna what's my first action as a user to sort of get into this mind map my node mapping sort of mode of XD? What do you what do you, what do you think our first move is gonna be here? Yeah, I think thinking around so where we generally want this thing to live, right? Mm -hmm. Like in a sort of larger scope, like do we want it to be on canvas where there's all these artboards and we're seeing nodes happening? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know that we necessarily want that because we also have prototyping nodes and we mm -hmm. have all these other things happening. Mm -hmm. um, do we want it to be a separate mode or do we want it to be more of um, sort of a feature, like a, like a side panel mm -hmm. sort of moment where you're collecting mm -hmm. ideas and you have these nodes coming down on the side that you're yeah. starting to attach things to um, versus right like a mode up here where we have design prototype maybe there's a, a mapping mm -hmm. um, moment up there. There's also you know like a lot of times what I like to do is I like to think about like how is the user doing this now mm -hmm. and and try and sort of capitalize on that moment like as a way to sort of jumpstart them into this new workflow. Sort of thinking about the patterns and the ways they use the apps and then kind of intersecting them right there yeah. right like and rather than maybe um you know creating like something else in the ui i mean i think we've kind of you know we've been as we've been designing and, and building xt that we've actually learned a lot um maybe in sometimes some of our decisions haven't worked well because i think sometimes again like maybe they're not intersecting at that moment like right when a user would need them or feel very contextual to the action that the user is doing mm -hmm. um so i was wondering like uh the thing i liked about last time when we worked was that um the little comment icon was like always waiting for you yeah you know it was kind of like interse intersecting you like right like if this app really is about communicating to this broader broader team if xd that's part of what it's doing has a way we can try to put that right in the path of the users too. So that's something definitely something to consider. Yeah, so you can consider having some of these nodes mm -hmm. present mm -hmm. at the time of where you're, when you are either copying and pasting our boards mm -hmm. or um, maybe at any time when you want to sort of just link out to another piece of it. <laughs> Everyone, we all are Adobe Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like that thread going on right now on the chat. Very nice. Um, all right, so we have this great app that we can pull from any assets from. So it definitely feels a little bit really polished. This is a really amazing sort of design. Um, and then we have our app frame. So why don't you kick it off? Where would you go first from here? Yeah, so let's see. I have opened the app frame at the moment. So thinking. Um, if we want to start sort of within here and I guess like the moment you the question is like is this happening the moment you just have this file open like that mm -hmm. first starting node moment mm -hmm. um, is probably existing and then like if I were to just duplicate this and this is now a separate artboard um, is there a link or like some moment that's happening here already in, mm -hmm. the, in the mind mapping mm -hmm. and I liked um, your idea about the also like the note that sort of is attached to it the label yeah right as well so that's that's a really that's a really cool idea. So, okay so um, oh and let's let me walk it back just for a sec like what's the next so really like where do we start in terms of our phases like UX and UI design right like where where do you like to start? Like, okay, so we have a, we have maybe an idea of what we want the user to do or what the feature is going to do for us. Where do you start? Do you start high fidelity? Do you start much more? Like, like do you start with wireframes? Like, where do you start with like when you when you have an idea in mind? Yeah, um, I definitely usually start either like pen to paper mm -hmm. or um, low fidelity just mm -hmm. to show and get feedback really quickly or to look through and click through and realize sort of where there's gaps or issues in that sense and then build, just keep building it out for higher fidelity. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, no, definitely. I think, you know, um, one of the things that I love XT for is that I can start really low fidelity and really get like the, the, the basics mm -hmm. of the flow that I really am looking for. Uh, and then I just add in those layers of, of high, like just add in the high fidelity as I go. Um, so again, I can get something up and running really quick in a prototype fashion that we can really talk about and start thinking through those problems and then start just layering more and more uh, stuff inside of it. Yeah. 
the, the sensei craziness is going on and I love it because uh, every time you mention Adobe Sensei a designer gets their wings no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes yes uh, everything we all we all are Adobe Sensei <laughs> so okay do we want to sketch out or talk through any yeah. ideas first maybe let's, let's and then it. go into some of these low fidelity because we, we actually have a little GoPro set up which nice. is a nice sort of situation here. And I have happen to have my sketchbook right here and available to us, but I will not be drawing upside down. So, <laughs> so um, not that not that talented. Okay, so we have um, okay we have this idea that we have our UI our frame here. This mm -hmm. is this is XD here, and I have an artboard. And what we want to be able to do is maybe in true mind node fashion. Yep actually have a little thing of UI just sort of waiting there for us. And then from there, I want to be able to sort of click on that. And I want it to copy over everything that's on here. So let's say there's that. And there's this thing sort of sitting right here. And maybe there's an image up here. So once we go over here, there, Image there. We want the same thing over here. All right. Yeah, and I think the question is then also as you're duplicating, like, is there any comments or anything that you want to add at that mm. moment, mm -hmm. or how we're gonna surface that sort of later on? If kind of connecting um, back to <laughs> Project Loop yeah, from last so. time. Very nice. So maybe it, maybe does it create a little, just a little ready-made comment box sort of sitting up there? Or maybe, let's see, so eventually what we want to be able to do is, you know, have, we're going to jump ahead in time, so if we kind of walk through this, we'll have, you know. Also, how do we sort of keep this organized, right? Once we have yeah. like a really gnarly tree going on here. Yeah, because the other question is, how is this in relationship to sort of like hookups, is it something very different, right? Because there's a lot of sort of overlap yeah. somewhat in that, yeah. if this is how you're designing or not. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking like one of the things we want to be able to do here at the end, I think it's right, like how do we keep this its own thing? Mm -hmm. And at the end, like what if I said like, oh, okay, actually this is, is there that moment where I say, oh, this is the one I want right here. And then at the end of the day, what I end up with is... A higher, further out version. Yeah, maybe it's like that version wins, but then there's like some, you know, there's like some way for us to always sort of get back to sort of my node world. Like, you know, so if I choose this one, then at the end, you know, we have a clear winner. But then anytime I want, you know, I could double click and actually get like back to that view Before at any time. Yeah. And maybe even choose again and say like, oh, actually that, I want this one. Or I can just keep keep riffing on it and keep iterating on it. So initially, so I guess the question for us to really answer is like, how does that how does that guy show up? Yeah. You know, and one, what are the controls around that plus? Because I feel like that's really the base of what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Other than just duplicating an artboard, are you Titling any of these moments, right? Are you adding comments on any of them? Are you mm -hmm. um, like sort of all the actions are in that really big moment right there when you're clicking that plus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you want to let's see? Yeah, let's, do you wanna, let's let's build in. Let's build some interactions here. Yeah. Okay. So you delete some... one of the, yeah. Just start with one artboard. Let's start. Let's start easy. Let's start simple. Yep. Yeah. Let's start here with adding. Node out here. <laughs> Embrace wireframes coming from customers. Embrace wireframes from customers. That's what's great about XD. Actually, we all, the whole team ends up designing in XD. Designers, PMs, engineers. Actually, I get the most excited when I hear someone who's not a designer saying that they that they they love XD. 
PM on my team was using XD the other day for his designs. That's, I love, I love hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I still though, the one, the one I hit the most is the hovering. Like our, my little friend, the hovering art director here. That, that's still the one that I, I just can't get, get around. I just don't know about that. Okay, we got our little, our little plus here. Very nice. All right, all right. so we have our first little node. Okay, all right, so okay. there we go. It's it's so inception because I'm about to copy <laughs> and paste this board right now. And I was just thinking, about, I was thinking of that ugh. exact thing. Okay, like, so here I, she is, could we copy it? Right at that moment where I'm like, there could be that plus right there. <laughs> right there, right waiting now. for you. Yeah. Hmm, yes. Okay, so you have the first node. If you were to click on this node, we're thinking, okay, you could potentially just copy onto mm -hmm. a copied version, mm -hmm. and then we would have this node again, extending. Extending, connecting those up. Connecting, yeah. Uh, Alexi, so if uh, hockey for the eyedropper, um, yes, if you're looking for that, you should definitely uh, go and request that feature. I know there's been a little contention around that that particular feature. We actually just tweaked it a little bit, and I'm actually interested in your feedback. Uh, so go let us know what you think of that new change. But definitely something that, that has been been a, been a topic for, for everybody, sort of again, trying to figure out the right... Hockeys are tricky. Hockeys are tricky, I gotta say. So... Oh, Para. Para has a has a prototype. We go, should go check out. So we'll check that out in just a bit. Uh, Jan, Eric, Edwardson has a really great question. I know a friend that uses Sketch. How do I make them switch over <laughs> to XD? I, I, I do. There is one thing, and I won't say this is the big selling point, but this is a very large file, as you see here on the stream. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> it's very. I'm just going to say that. It's a very large, it's a very large file. No, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> we love all tools. Don't, we should all, we should all come together and love, love one another right now. Yeah. <laughs> cool, all right. You're all about the love. Yes, okay. yes. Um, yeah, so I have, okay, you have now duplicated or pressed the plus mm -hmm. to now come over here. You mm -hmm. have the same artboard, it already has a plus. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just sort of thinking, okay, is it, that you just have this artboard name, right? And that's the only other information you have. Because mm -hmm. um, if I'm coming back later on, like as this keeps expanding, mm -hmm. just sort of what other information is tied to mm. yeah. an artboard. I, what do you guys, I mean, do you think that's important stream? What do you think? Do you think that that's like, do you want to be able to, or you want these artboards auto named? Do you want them to sort of like have a little title space for you? Um, do you want to add an annotation? Like when do you want to add an annotation? Do you guys have any thoughts there? Anything that you'd like to see, see us include here at this point in our, in our early prototype? Luke, actually, we're, we're working on extensions, so that's that, that's an interesting. I'd love to know uh, what kind of scripting you'd like to do on top of XD. So, yeah, I know uh, Ben. We actually have we're going to be choosing a whole new set of prototypes for winning one year of Creative Cloud. I think Hassan had the same question earlier. If you design an app uh, while Danielle and I are here. Focus, the theme is travel. We're gonna be checking them out. We're gonna probably save a little time at the end of the stream and we're gonna be giving away a one year uh, Creative Cloud membership to the winner. So be sure to be working on your your designs right now as, as we are of course designing as well. We'll all design together, so. All right. Yeah, and Luke mentioned post-it notes like Photoshop. Oh. Annotation. Mm -hmm. if there's mm -hmm. anything we can rip off of in that regard. Mm. Like post-it notes, like what is it that you're putting on those notes? Is it just pure comments, yeah. pure visuals? Like how would we tie that into XD or into this flow? There, oh, all right, so we're gonna, yes. we actually have the rules of the stream of today's, uh, we're gonna cover them again. So the theme of our day, right, that we just mentioned is travel. So we're going to, basically you should download and install Adobe XD if you haven't already. And you need to design a three screen experience. Right, so you need to use the prototype, 
to view and add interactions to your design, and then use the share button to publish the prototype on the web, and then share the prototype in the chat, and then we'll be rounding them all up and taking a look at them towards the end. So check that out. And then we'll be giving away Create Cloud membership. So. so yes, all right. So Jan, why not just use real post-it notes? I could, and I could just have them posted all over my screen. That's definitely something I could do. Mm -hmm. All right, Michael is track. Oh, Michael is the man who's tracking all these for us. So I'm just gonna have this oh, open and minimize here. We'll go check those out. Let's actually check one out right now. We have um, here's one, Dog Explorer. Oh, I'm oh. I love I love dogs. <laughs> I want a dog. All right, so we can sign up. No, let's just let's woof right into it. <laughs> oh, oh, so this Chewbacca. is for, I am a dog, <laughs> and I want to go to find the best spots for dogs to... Oh, look, and get some scrolling. Oh, look, we got some repeat grid. Very nice. Uh, I was just at a... I was just at um, Zion National Park over the weekend. Oh, this past This weekend? just reminds me of that. Nice. It was really awesome. Let's Did see, you where... Did you have a dog with you? No. Oh. I just had a lot of kids Stop with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had, yeah, I had a baby. That, that kind of counts. Um, okay, where should we go? Let's let's go see what's behind the Grand Canyon. Oh, oh, look at that! Nice. And they have oh, they tagged have their selfies. The oh, that's just the Cute. best. The dogs at the Grand Canyon. I like the joke. Dog gone it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. This is this is nice. this is pretty good. Look at that. All right, let's go back. Um, uh, let's, oh, let's, oh, let's find your next trip. Oh, look, we can search too. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like the transition on there. That's very nice. And then, oh, oh, we have nice. That's very nice. Yeah. That's great. Very, very cool. You can add your wish list of items. Yeah. Very cool. Close that out. That's pretty good, guys. So that's 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 pretty awesome. Did they mention who made that? I don't know. That's pretty great. Michael, if you're listening, one. you should uh, post some names so we can, we can know who to attach these to. These are really great. Nice job. That's that's awesome. Okay, Which cool. Is that Dog Explorer? Yeah, okay. yeah. Dog Explorer. I'm, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Okay, so go back to see where are we at here with our... Oh, yes. So you should just keep building out some of these nodes into maybe do one of these moments where we break out into two different sort mm -hmm. of pods mm -hmm. here. And have yeah, let's see what that would look like. Andy, that was great, man. Nice job. I really like that one. And your use of transitions and the whole, yeah, really nice. So in this mode, like, like as we're iterating, do we need like mm -hmm. all the tools you think, or is this just about design? Like, do we need all the prototyping tools, or is this really like we're isolated? We're like isolated, and we're just riffing on design here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it might just be more in this design moment, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure because I think also getting into prototyping mode here as well could get a little, a little crazy. Little happen. gnarly. Yeah. Little all gnarly. The nodes Lots and of nodes. Too. Lots of nodes. I'm going to look at one more. Oh. Oh, advanced options. Oh, very nice. Surprise me. <laughs> oh, I, I, all right. They following. There you go. Never tell them. I always ask if you're going to track. It's a good thread there about ethics and design. <laughs> all right. Allow. So I've allowed them to track me. Oh, and then they found an abandoned hut. <laughs> Very nice. I, I I would like to see abandoned hut. Oh, more results. More abandoned huts. A little repeat grid action going on there. Hey, you know, can't go wrong with an abandoned hut. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice job. I like that one too. Very cool. What was that one called? That was called Random Go. Oh. Random Go. Yeah, I like the little, little trip roulette. Very nice. Also, travel with friends. 
Now we can do, let's connect with Facebook first. Oh, that's nice too. Very nice. Oh, where do you want to go? Oh, I can see, actually see where my friends are traveling to make me feel as I'm sitting at home that I'm not out there doing <laughs> anything with my life. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Back to home. Very nice. Oh, friends around me. That's good to know. Oh, this is really... Oh. This, this woman who I know, she was here yesterday. This is great. This one's really... It's got lots of stuff going on. Very nice. This one was, what was the name of this one? Travel with friends. I like that one. Very nicely done. We have travel in China. Oh, now I just, I'm, this is like begging for horizontal scrolling, horizontal scrolling, if my team is listening. <laughs> where's, where's my scrollable areas? <laughs> just kidding. There, nope, that one didn't scroll. Very nice. I like where that one's headed. To China. I'm headed headed to China. It's exactly going to China. I'll check out one more here in the stream. No bad. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Repeat grid. Drag and drop images. Oh, that's my favorite feature. Morocco. I want to go. To, oh, this one has a whole like kind of editorial bent to it. Oh, that's nice. I imagine these might even be pulled from, say, like, Twitter or something like that. Like, whole, like, Twitter story with pictures and images of Morocco. Maybe things happening. You know, it's a little journal. Very nice. Oh, that's nice, too. I like that one. I'd love to go to Morocco. You have never been to Morocco? I've never been. That's really nice. It looks gorgeous. Nice work, guys. So there's a little inspiration. So you guys should be designing right now as Danielle is designing. Cool. And I'm just hooking this up to sort of start to take a look at the low fidelity oh, yeah. that we have yeah. going here. Let's check it out. Yeah. Just make sure this last one is connecting to the right spots. All right. All right. See you, Greg. Thanks for joining us. All right. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Okay. And see if this has. Okay. So, so she, Danielle's gone over to prototype mode. She's hooked up her designs in prototype mode. Now we're previewing with the preview window. We'll play a button up there. Let's check it out. Yeah, so now we have, okay, if I have this artboard and I click on the plus, we'll go ahead and have another artboard here mm -hmm. and copy mm -hmm. it. And then I'm gonna sort of zoom out on the artboard as I'm sort of coming up with this new idea. Hit the plus, I have this artboard, but now sort of I have two different directions I could go now. Mm -hmm. And so clicking back on one of these plus moments here would basically separate. And so now I can go in sort of two different directions. Yeah, yeah. And then I can continue sort of maybe in one path versus the other and just sort of have this as like a moment where I'm like, oh, I could have gone in that direction, but let's see what's, what's down this other path. Yeah, yeah. And then like you can still zoom around, but I like that the mm -hmm. artboards are much more Manage. They're not just kind mm -hmm. of like placed wherever. They're sort of all just sort of nicely branching off. That was one of my favorite things about that my known app, I must say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't like to manage my artboards. They just they just get <laughs> unwieldy and they're just all over the place. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to spend time doing that. So nice. Yeah. That's looking good. Continue this out. We need to, I'm trying to figure out how we. Oh, pardon me, guys. I'm gonna mm -hmm. sneeze here. <laughs> ah. Look at the light. Look at the light. I don't know if that works for you. <laughs> I don't know if you have that gene. Kind of. Okay. No. <laughs> no, no, it kind of worked. All right. All right. <laughs> Greg, we're going to miss you. Very, very lively, very witty in the chat. Thanks for joining us, man. Enjoy your dishwashing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. While you're doing dishes, I was like, "How do you know that he's?" No, he's he's. Still, I I you know I I I like a good dishwashing session after I've been working. You know, just kind of those mindless tasks <laughs> that you're going. So we need to figure out though, like, what's what's the mechanism? If you mechanism? need some place to go do dishes, you're welcome to <laughs> do my dishes for me. <laughs> well, That's all right, my... I don't know if I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Chris. Yeah. So what were you saying? The water's there. Oh, uh, so do you think this is just like any time I select an artboard? 
Anytime, like, do you think um, do you think this is like an option that's like always waiting for me, like while I'm in design mode? Right, like if you don't actually click that plus and yeah. just continue along. Yeah. Along. Yeah. Because I'm thinking like while you're working on yeah. this, maybe I'll kind of riff on maybe some ideas about like how you enter into this. Because mm -hmm. there was like there was I was thinking of a Photoshop interaction that I saw in a prototype. I don't remember if it made it into the app, but basically you had an artboard and then if you hovered next to the artboard, it's like you could just add another, like a copy of that artboard, mm -hmm. like right there on canvas. So you didn't have to go and select the artboard tool and make another artboard. So I was wondering if this is something like where you, like that's like a normal interaction. Like maybe we have like, if you have like an iPhone artboard and you want to make another one, you can just quickly hit a plus and it just creates a new blank one. Mm -hmm. But if you have the artboard selected, then you see the node plus. Yeah, or maybe even, I mean, the node might even be like when you click that plus once, like maybe it's, you can use the artboard or you could like add just like the comment or idea or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. more of, because otherwise I feel like it's also just getting into a lot of just a different visualization of the artboards that exist now, mm -hmm. of just seeing connections earlier on in some mm -hmm. regard. Um, but to come back to this and have more like ideas in there or more thoughts might be interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, you keep working on the on the on the string here. I'm gonna so I'm gonna choose I think we're gonna go with um maybe something we can riff on really quickly. Like maybe mm -hmm. we do the sign in one. Okay. And like, yeah, I'm very having an interesting question oh, yeah. of like what happens if you delete one artboard from the middle of the chain. Mm. Right? And like so I'm thinking like, yeah, if you were to delete this one, I would sort of assume that that node would just kind of morph into one right here, sort of straight through, mm. right? And just still be connected. But that is an interesting question. That's a good question, through. right? Do you, do you would you because you're this is the Or point. maybe they're not connected anymore. Well, right? maybe, so, yeah, maybe, maybe there's, there's some way to disconnect, but that's a good point. That's a good point, Ray. Like if you wanted to I mean I think that begs a lot of good questions about what this mode is for. Mm -hmm. You know, like, would you delete a node because it's, it's technically in the history, right? Like, mm -hmm. you are you preserving that history? Are you, or are you, do you want that kind of control over it? Or, yeah. do you, or is the point to keep a record, you know? Right. It's yeah, because really the other question. idea cause is, is also just... Um, like having these artboards you're copying through, there is that option there for the plus, and if you do hit it, then you have like this other moment, but you don't always have to, right, like have these nodes all the time. Yeah, or, or collapse it. Maybe it's, mm -hmm. maybe just collapse it. That could be yeah, cool. so you basically just have this first or main image or something. Yeah. One of the artboards yeah. that's sort of showing that concept. Yeah. And you can, yeah, move all of these yeah. within and maybe you could. Maybe that's the next okay. piece of this. So we've built this out to a larger flow, maybe I, I move forward with one yeah. section of it, one path, yeah. and then select that path mm -hmm. as this is like the design mm -hmm. I want. Yeah. And then and collapse anything else it. Been in, it collapses. Hmm. Yeah. So there's a question from the chat. So this option of multiple artboards exists already in XD. You're right. And I think maybe with time, this is a good time for us to kind of talk about what concept we're, we're kind of working on today for those who are just joining us. Mm -hmm. um, we were thinking like, wouldn't it be great if we could actually track the, the, the sort of visual history like of an idea, like of say one artboard. We could see it change over time because a lot of us, whether using Illustrator or XD or even Photoshop, like if you're working on design and you want to try something different, a lot of us will do is we'll copy and paste and we'll change something, but it's really like a whole new artboard. But we thought, wouldn't it be cool if you could actually keep this thread? We saw, we kind of were inspired by Adobe Sensei a demo that we saw last week in the Adobe Keynote, Max Keynote, where um, the designer at the end can actually zoom out and actually see all the whole tree of creative decisions that they'd made. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of doing it kind of, you know, magically in the cloud. And so we thought, well, a lot of designers are doing this, so what if we connected them? And then what if you kind of riff on designs and then at the end choose the one you like the best and then collapse them and kind of move forward with that version that you like the best. So that's kind of what we're riffing on today. Let us know if that's a thing you guys are interested in or something where you're like, eh, I don't know. Um, maybe that's not the right the right thing to go to go uh, put inside of XD. So let us know. Let us know what you think. And uh, you know, uh, if you have a link, um, yeah, I'll post it out. Yeah, maybe okay. we'll, we'll post it out so you guys can actually click through yourselves. So um, Danielle in a minute is going to go up and actually share the prototype which all of you should be doing if you're working on a travel app. 
going up to the share icon and clicking on that and publishing your prototype to the web and pasting the link here in the chat. So I'm going to Do we have ready. a name for our Oh, what's our name? A... What's our name going to be, everyone? So this is about visual versioning. This is about keeping track of your creative decisions. So what's what's the name of our project today? Remember catchy name is it's a big deal. Presenting. Presenting is a really huge part of your job as a designer. Yeah, and I think so. one name that was thrown out earlier was the linker. So mm -hmm. um, we have that or mm -hmm. any other ideas you guys or have. Or Project Fedora <laughs> still floating around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, James, you're right. Like that tree may get long, but we're thinking is there a cool way that you can kind of collapse that at the end, right? So you can sp explode it and see that big that project thinking cap. That. Very, very nice. Very nice. Play off of the door. We're mm -hmm. almost there. Thinking <laughs> cap. Project um, evolution. Oh, wait. I, I, I like that. That's pretty good. Vision tracker. Ahmed with a good one. Um, Travo, maybe, I think, is that, if that one's a, maybe like traversing, traversing time, mm. maybe this is a play on that. I don't, I don't like Project Evolution. Let me go with that for now because I do have to save this. Let's song. do that. Okay, we're going to do that. Tim. Nicely done, sir. He he expanded beyond Project Fedora, and I think came up with a really good, <laughs> really good name. Ashley is seconding that as well. Project Evolution, everyone. Tracking Project Evo. Oh, James is we. That's that's a good. That's a good. That's good too. <laughs> Tim's gonna copyright that until we give him rulers. He's gonna say you cannot license my copyright on this name until we give him rulers. Tim, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to convince you, but I want to see how you're using rulers, Tim. Send me a screenshot of your best use case for rulers because that will help. James, see, James got the right idea. What, grids aren't good enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, actually, if, if you guys are rulers users, I want to see the, your best use of rulers inside of Photoshop or Illustrator. So hit me up on Twitter, at Mr. Talon, and post a screenshot of how you use rulers. Ashley, if you use rulers in InDesign, let me know. So uh, Alexi, so this chain, so what we're doing um, is we want to track like the, the web of de creative decisions that we're making throughout our design. So we want to go from one design and let it branch out and see where it leads us. And then at the end of the day, we want to choose one and let that win kind of, you know, compare them side by side and let that win. And then all of that tree of history of how we got there is going to collapse. And then we're going to be left with, with our perfect final version of our, of our design. So project evolution. Again, we want to see our design evolve. We want to see how it's connected, how one decision led to another. And I think we all do this uh, kind of, you know, in, the, in not just in the early phase of our designs, but I think we continually do this where we're just sort of copying and pasting and trying new ideas. But here, Danielle is showing us how we can do that very contextually, very, very on canvas. Um, and we're going to keep kind of evolving <laughs> this yep. and, uh, and, and see what everybody thinks. So Danielle is publishing our first prototype yeah, for Project Evolution. Link. How do you want me to send you this? Uh, uh, Slack that to me, All right. and I will tweet it. Don't know what's going to come up when I open the Slack. Uh. <laughs> Fear. Yes. How do I not have your Twitter? What's your Twitter? Twitter? Um, Twitter's like, motto, auto, motto, Twitter's okay. auto suggestion yes. really is terrible, I gotta say. Made, M A D E. No, oh, made? After the motto. Oh, ah. Yeah, that might help. There you go. There we mm. go. There it is. <laughs> All right. We design visual version, aka project evolution live. Cool. 
Cool, yeah, so I think the next thing is figuring out how do I select which path I actually want, mm -hmm. and then to know when I collapse this, which which way to collapse it. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And that's the Did next you select thing. that to me? Yes, I selected to you. Although you haven't been getting any or responding oh, to any Oh, I know, of I know why. Recently. <laughs> I know why you sent it to Mr. Talon, didn't you? I don't know. I typed in Talon and yeah, type in at T Wads War. You have two different. Apparently, slides. this is a thing that I am just now learning really? more about. Oh. Sorry, little little That's slack fine. craziness. <laughs> All right, you wanted at what is it? Uh, T W A D S O R W. Oh my gosh, you yep. do have two. There's two. Ah. Of you. Man. My goodness. Okay. I have so many things to tell you that I... I was wondering why it was the first time we'd chatted before. Mm -hmm. I was like, that can't be true. Yep. No, it's... it's Yep, it's <laughs> been a thing. Oh, man. <laughs> Apparently, I did not... I just not... thought that you were giving me the cold shoulder. I just didn't think you were responding to <laughs> I I sincerely apologize. I will show you after this. Literally, I have sent you multiple messages over a couple of days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it's all good. I, all right, all right. This is this is my life right now. I was like, Talon's so busy. Sorry. It's okay. I gave you all this time for the doubt. No. <laughs> oh no. What happened? What? Okay, good. Thanks, Twitter. <laughs> The end. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I just posted the link on on Twitter. Go check it out. Should be hopefully our intrepid Adobe Live team will also be posting that into the chat. And uh, go, yeah, go tell us what you think, guys. Again, visual versioning in XD, design iteration, seeing the tree of decisions. Go check it out. Okay, so you've got your you got your tree structure going on. So here. I have my main, yeah, sort okay. of. Okay, I branched into these two different paths. Now I'm starting to follow one. How do I pick that? That's the path. That I now want to maybe collapse that you want to go into. For. Yeah, like if this is sort of my end mm, mm -hmm. sort of idea here. Okay. How am I going to select sort of this? So that's what I'm sort of trying to think about right now. Yeah, or maybe, or oh, Alexi, I kind of another, like how, how could I compare to? Let's say I had this mm. huge tree, and Alexi rightly noted this is going to get gnarly. Yeah. Or somebody did in this stream. Um, can I, how do I, how, maybe do we do compare first? Do we choose, we could do one first? You choose, you, you choose which one to do first. But that could be a cool thing for us to follow up on is like, yeah, you choose one, but how do I sort of bring two that might be very different and compare them? Yeah, because maybe also, maybe this is a moment where, I mean, potentially these node colors could be different. Like I've now branched into a different idea. Mm -hmm. So maybe I changed this blue into a different color. Oh yeah. And then maybe on that last artboard, like before it branched off, there's these two colors. Like this is where you branched into these two ideas mm -hmm. and you could select maybe one or select the other. And maybe that's how you're sort of controlling these mm -hmm. nodes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Let's check it out. Maybe. So I'm gonna be thinking about how how you enter into to to this mode while you do that. So you're doing the branching, and I'm gonna do the mm -hmm. how do I enter into this mode. Okay. Okay, so I got my artboard here. So maybe, like I was saying, like Photoshop had this thing one time where you could. See, almost like this little. I'm always kind of have this little like plus button, right? Like if you mm -hmm. hovered over next to the artboard, 
it would make an artboard of the same size like right next to it. So that that's, I'm gonna kind of riff on that idea and see where that takes me here. So I am just going to do So I'm doing this. What's going on in the chat? Let's see. Yes, Flexi it was a great sort of demo done um, last year, the big announcement of for Adobe XD's 1.0 launch. So in honor of that, I'm, I'm going to be riffing on these amazing assets created by the team here at Adobe. Danielle, yeah, oh, got some different colors going on. I like the different colored thread. Yeah, I realized the branching I had like still that when I had that blue, it was the same. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's branching a little bit differently here. Actually, which branch makes more sense? I'm trying to think of my noting here. Mm -hmm. You have branching fu fully in the two colors or it's sort of coming here and then it yeah. Off Let's go back to our inspiration. Way. I think I think the full the full color. So again, like this, this was full, right? Yeah, like this sure. was kind of our inspiration. This little mind mapping app that we kind of love here at Adobe. Well, at least I, my team does. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, maybe just me gets a lot of use out of it. Again, we sort of imagine sort of design iteration happening something like this. So I think this branching sense, yeah right? directly from it. Yep. Cool. Yep. All right. So I'm thinking about how we enter into this mode. So we have our design here, and like, eh, could be better. So how do we do that? Okay. So I'm thinking like if you have nothing selected and you're just sort of hovering over here, like basically you you could just start another a new artboard, a blank artboard. Like what if you could just do that? I'm gonna use this as my little I'm like, mm, there's a little hover state. All right, we did that. But if I select this artboard, I'm actually going to take and make that a global color. So I select this artboard. So here I'm actually, this is my favorite feature in XD right now, guys. We have the, the assets panel now, we have global colors, we have character styles, we have symbols. Which means that if I go and I use this blue, and later on I want to change that blue, I can just go here and actually edit it, and it will change everywhere I use it in my document. Right now it's very subtle. If I zoom in here, you can see it change everywhere I've used this color now. You know, I'm like, oh, I want that to be red. There you go, just changes it. Okay, but I'm gonna go back to the blue. Okay. So when I have that artboard selected, this one is going to disappear because that was just me hovering over. So I'm just going to go and hide that. But while I have that selected, that's, that's going to show me the node. <laughs> Alexi's designing apps in Belarus at 2:13 a.m. I admire <laughs> your 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 your, uh, your dedication, sir. <laughs> but we didn't see your app. Where's your travel app, Alexi? <laughs> okay. So then of course I've made this into a symbol, so I'm going to drag this out and reuse it over here. So now you can see where my prototype is starting to intersect with Danielle. So what we're thinking is when you have nothing selected and you hover over next to your artboard, you could just start a new artboard. That's cool. But if you have it selected, 
the artboard is selected, then then you get the little branching node hanging out right here. So then when you click on that, it'll create a duplicate. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna copy that over here. And then I'm going to take, do that. Take that guy, extend that over. And then of course, after I do that, this guy will be selected now. So just move that over there. So now I have some designs. I'm gonna hop over to prototype mode. I got it, thanks. I'm gonna do that. Actually, I want to do the whole artboard, just this one. Boom. And then from here, there. And just for fun, I'm going to duplicate that one. Need that one, but I'm just, uh, just gonna get that out there. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so then now make sure that's my home artboard. Yes. Hit play. Let's check it out. All right, so this is what I'm thinking is how you enter into this mode. Mm -hmm. So I have nothing selected. If I clicked on that, mm -hmm. start menu artboard, same size as that one. Great. So if I want to do it the other way, and I select this artboard. And then you get then the I see that. Yep. Boom. There we go. And this one's selected, so I think what I'm missing, I'm missing the node falling from this one too. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Cool. And I'm working on just getting this collapsible, trying to get this dotted line. Oh right no. Here. Yeah. I struggle with what happened. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, Danielle's geez. doing dotted lines. Oh boy. Regrets. Ooh, someone has a black and white travel app. Very nice. Let's go see. Let's see. I think Gus actually put... He's got a spreadsheet going on here. Alright. So you see, okay. Oh, that was the great dog explorer. Very nice. You can start from the bottom. From the bottom. Yeah, okay, from the bottom one. Okay. Hassan, let's go see Hassan, Hassan. <gasps> Here's Hassan's black and white. Oh, very refined, very mm -hmm. nice. Check it out. Oh, very nice. Hassan. All right, where to go? Oh, Moscow. Oh, Hassan, I think we need some scrolling. <laughs> if you haven't done it, go grab this artboard and just select it and then just stretch it from the bottom and it will automatically make that artboard scrollable. Let's go go check that out. Back. There you go. Very nice. Go back home. Check that out. There you go. I like the style though. This is this is very very nice. Very moody. Very very refined travel app. I like that a lot. All right. Let's go check out another one here. Let's go see. Madeline, I think that's how, I think, tell me if I'm wrong. Ah, no, Hassan, nice job, man. It looks great. Really nice. Looks really good. Here we go, okay. Got some options here to go. Here we go, oh. Ah, yeah, it's good. There's a little, little more, little more detail. I think that's looking pretty good, Madeline. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, I think it's a good start. Para, nice. para, let's see what para. Oh, oh, I like this little guy. <laughs> let's go check it out. It's almost <laughs> French. <laughs> <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Trying to decide. Let's see. Oh, very nice. Not travel related, but maybe maybe this guy has something going. It's very nice. He might be involved in travel in some way. He's the travel monster. Let's see, Matthew, did we check out Matthews? Check out 
Matt Matthews. Ooh, the Exerzone. Connecting with fitness locations. Oh, okay. So we're traveling to, to, to see some fitness here. Oh, very nice. Everybody's got to have a good sign-in. I'm Carly. I am signing in. I'm just curious. Where will we be announcing the winner? Oh, we'll yes. We're going to be announcing that in about 30 minutes or so. Right here on the stream. So we're checking these out. Once we get kind of, we're probably going to be start kind of looking at them in probably 20 minutes or so. Yeah. We'll check them out. Kind of look at them. Oh, looking for some yoga. Here I am in Washington. There we go. I got some good good locations. Oh, and all right, very in the profile. Oh, some reviews. Very nice, very thorough. Book it. Oh, I can book it too. Very nice. Oh, I can even put in my card information. All right, nobody look at my. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm booked. Maybe even I could like it'd be great if I could add add that to like my calendar from here or something on my phone. Very nice. Oh, and and a menu even as well. That's really oh oh there and I, oh, there it is. My calendar is right there, showing that I am going to yoga. Remind me. See, she was already thinking. Already thinking. Who was that? Matthew. Matthew was already thinking ahead to the needs of the user. I like that. Very nice. Very nice. This is looking great, guys. All right. So cool. So Danielle, where are you at? How are you, how are you doing? Where are you? Where, where's, where'd you? Where'd you go from here? <laughs> where am I? Where, I are, where are you? What is where happening? Are you? Yes. Um, yeah. So one thing I was thinking about was like sort of these different paths, and um, if you were to either like what happens when you do click and select on sort of one of these nodes versus mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. and like if it becomes sort of dotted like are you selecting one path versus the other mm -hmm. or another thing I'm exploring is okay like maybe like it starts to adjust mm -hmm. and it starts mm -hmm. to pick sort of the one path and then mm -hmm. you need to show that there was something that collapsed oh, yeah. somewhere yeah, else right somewhere so nice. um, I'm just sort of thinking now I'm going to add like a, a little moment of the orange so you know that there was something that collapsed but mm -hmm. you could open that back up very nice I like it um Jan, I, I think it's. He was asking, is XD pretty straightforward to, to learn? I would say definitely. In fact, yeah. Jan, we were talking earlier. If you go download XD and you open it up, you'll have this great sort of like follow along tutorial file where you can actually design an app with me. Um, that's that's funny. That's going back <laughs> a ways now. Uh, but basically, it'll teach you all the biggest, like the the big things you need to know about XD, and kind of walk you through that whole process. So you should definitely go download XD, check it out, and come and design something tomorrow with us, and yeah, share it with us. Again, all it has to be is the theme is travel, three screens. That's all we're looking for, um, and you've got to share it online, and that's that's really the only criteria. For, for the contest, they are, they are right here. So you download and install, design that three screen experience. Again, Matthew just did a great one we walked through. It had it had a lot, but you know, you can do three screens, you can do more. Um, so make sure you use the prototype to view and add those interactions. Publish it via the share button to the web, and then share it here on the chat. So the song will be one, one winner, Chris? Yeah, one winner today. Yes, yes. So one winner this afternoon. Is there just one winner this yep. afternoon? Yep, yeah. yep. Um, are we going to change themes tomorrow, Michael? Same theme. Different oh, theme we're gonna, every day. We're going to change themes. <laughs> you don't get any lead time on the theme. So, yes, new theme tomorrow. So. Lots of chances to win. Plenty of time to download XD and learn the basics and design an app with this. So. so here we are designing XD in XD, the great new feature, Project Evolution. Do you want to walk through, where you at? Are you good in a spot where we could walk through? Are you ready to hook that up and we'll walk through your prototype? Yeah, I can be a couple right. more. All right, yeah. Excellent, and then excellent. I'll hook that up, yeah. All right, so I'm trying to think where I, where I should go next. Mm -hmm. So I've got selecting gives you the node, very nice. I can start doing some content, and then you can just drop it right in. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, and I put this on the shared. Okay. So you awesome. Have access All right. To it as well. Awesome. 
Okay. So what would I want to do with Flexi here? Let me think. All right, so I can run through this. We have oh, it hooked okay, up, and let me. All right, Danielle's got her prototype all hooked take up. Take a look at it. Okay, so we have the starting artboard. Okay. And you click the plus sign, and that will copy it and start to make a design on there. And then sort of zoomed out. I have a couple ideas I want to play with. I'm going to add another one. But then this is the moment where okay, I have mm -hmm. two different ideas, mm -hmm. so I'm going to mm -hmm. split and click this plus sign. And so now I have these two different colored nodes because I'm not going in two different directions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe I want to follow this one out more. So I'm going to click the plus and just sort of continue that design. Mm -hmm. And then um, now I'm like, okay, I have this idea and I want to keep that, but I, this is sort of the, the blue flow is the one that mm -hmm. I want to actually keep. Yeah. So maybe, you know, just selecting this node when I do, so this entire rest of it sort of collapses. Mm. And now I still see that there is a, a, a marker here or mm -hmm. like a moment that mm -hmm. I went on a different idea. But I have, so it's just sort of collapsed visually, but I can still look at it through the design mm -hmm. that I have right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so the next thing is just sort of, I'm going to click back on this node and it'll expand it back so I can continue or keep looking yeah. through that. Yeah, you know, actually, it makes me, I was thinking about sure. that. The plus, oh yeah, so Danielle is going to update our prototype. She's going to update it at the same link. So when you go check it out, it'll be the same link if you, if you remember from before. Or if you check it out on Twitter, I posted it earlier. Um, you can go back to that same link, and this is just going to keep updating at that same link. And you can go in there, and you can comment, and, you know, basically give us that feedback directly there. Danielle will get updated in her Creative Cloud app, actually, as yes. comments start flowing in to the prototype. Um... So Taysir, yes, you do have to have, uh, XD is actually our first UWP application, so the Universal Windows Platform. So it's a brand new brand new uh, platform for Windows 10, and which means it's, it's fast, it's responsive, it plays well with all the new stuff Windows is doing, so you do have to have Windows 10. And with the, there was an update before the creator's update, I don't remember, anniversary update. Does have to be the anniversary update, I believe. But check it out if you if you if you, if you can. So, um, so yeah. So Tanav, he just posted something. We're definitely gonna go check that out. So, so I was thinking back. To the, yeah. I liked that the pluses were there, but I was I wonder I wonder if it's something like, and I think this might be tricky. Mm -hmm. But it, let's say. To start a new thread, maybe we, f we kind of take a little from my node and on, on hover, it just sort of pops a new one. But after you've added um, like a screen, maybe the like on, if you, on the blue thread, those pluses turn into a close. Into the X. Yeah. After that. Point. Yeah. That could yeah. be cool. So then on hover, on you have to select that artboard again, then you can get a new thread and, and follow it up from there. So you can, would you, if it does so that? So on the one before that, I think it was. Oh no, the one, this one. Mm -hmm. So rather than hitting plus here, this would be an X. So you mm -hmm. would select this one again and you would have a new new little node. You just have another one. Just right waiting there. for you, yeah, yeah. So all of these existing ones will be the X. Mm -hmm. So if you click on that, is it collapse the collapse? Them. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. That could be cool. And that then actually, maybe, that makes sense, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Look at that. Designing in real time. Mm hmm. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Oh, cool. All yeah, right. I'll update that. Great. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to mess with the, the amazing Flexi app. How I want to try some new ideas here. Maybe this time I'm like, mm, try a different color. So, maybe I'm just going to reverse the colors. Maybe all I'll do is I'll do this. Add. Oh, so I'm using the, the assets panel, so I'm just adding some global colors so that I can have them ready. So when I want, I can be like, I'm gonna change that background to that color and that button to that. Mm. That's kind of nice. Those are kind of some of the design changes I might want to be doing or trying out. Again, I think, you know, one of the things that, um, one of the things I really think is important about design is to be able to see new ideas quickly. So again, you can just try it out everything until you find that, that thing that really, that's really gonna stick. 
Again, you just gotta keep iterating and keep designing. And so I really, you know, the one of the things that we really try to do with XD is really allow you to design at the speed of thought, which really allows you to kind of get, have everything get out of the way so you can work quickly, try that ne that next idea so you can just keep making your, your work better. Um, and be able to sort of then share it and get feedback on it. And that's really a, a kind of a, kind of one of those one of those sort of you know bedrock of the application is that that sort of principle of design at the speed of thought so yeah because the faster you can get there the faster you can iterate or get feedback mm -hmm. and, and it just makes the whole process a lot faster so ray just had, mentioned that he went and he actually commented on that and so i'm going to go and actually check out that comment directly oh. so let's see where did i post that let's see there we go. Let me go check it out. Okay. So here it is. So now as I'm looking through there, if I open it up, all right, we've got some comments. <laughs> and let's see, I'm going to sign in here real quick. Because it's always signing me out lately. Avert your eyes. <laughs> you say as I look over. As you look screen, over, yeah, yes. Like, now here. <laughs> so then <laughs> I can post a reply here to Tim. Oh, nice. I will post it. All right. Um, Gabby commented there, and if I keep sort of walking through the prototype here. Oh, see, yeah, Ray had that same idea of actually using that that icon to from the plus to the minus, which mm -hmm. I think, yeah, kind of like collapsing that that thread. The only kind question of is, yeah, so so the nice thing is, so I changed all of the mm -hmm. them to the X's, mm -hmm. but I got to this moment now where normally I would click that X mm -hmm. to add that next moment. But so should I select the artboard yeah, again to so then new... to get a new node here? Yeah, maybe, okay. maybe for this one. Okay, so I'll select it, yeah. have a new moment, and then yeah. that is what will there push you go. me to the All node. right, okay. I like that, I like that. So that's looking good, Ray. So one of the things you can do here, and actually I was doing this today, I actually have this really big prototype I'm working on right now, and everybody was giving me feedback directly on there, and it actually became like my running list of changes I needed to make mm -hmm. on the prototype. So I would just make the change and I would go and either reply to the comment or actually resolve the comment. So it kind of gave me a really handy way to keep kind of working with my collaborators. So everybody was giving me feedback and I was replying or responding or updating the prototype and then resolving the comments as I went. And it was just this really great way for me to track like all the work that I still had to do on this really huge prototype we're working on right now. So, um, so as you wait, had a comment, a question, uh, when making a button, home button, is there a way to assign a certain operation to it so you can keep copying and pasting that home button so yeah so wade let me double check if this is this is the case but i think what you can do in prototype mode is you can choose a target so home is not here right now but one that we do have and if this is something you might be interested in you should definitely go to our user voice forum adobexd.uservoice.com and suggest it. So if you use previous here, then this button will always take you to the previous artboard, wherever wherever you came from. It's a little kind of crazy to sort of illustrate that one. Uh, but basically, if I then do that, and so now every time I come into this artboard, if I click on that button, it'll take me back to the previous artboard. If I copy now and paste that button again with that interaction, it'll carry that interaction with me. So see, it's, our, it's, it's now sort of stayed assigned there. And so one that's been on our backlog for a while, and if you go vote on it, it definitely will come again. Like this is how we kind of use to sort of set our roadmap. Um, one was home. So you would define your home artboard, and then you could have, say, an icon that would always take you home. So go go see if that, I think that one's on there, but go put um, home as an option for prototyping. And uh, yeah, I'll bring it up with the team. I really like that. I miss that. I miss that too. I want that too. All right. Cool. So I just updated. Okay. 
So Danielle just oh, added wow. these updates. You guys should go check us. So we made a big change here, and we want to see what you think. Yeah, well, so no, it's, it's a small change, but it's, it's got some implications. <laughs> Might be, yeah, pretty big. So go ahead and click the plus, and now I have my other artboard, and uh, now I'm just going to sort of zoom out as so I'm looking through here and continue clicking the plus so I have another. And then basically I now have that split moment, right? But I'm going to select the artboard that I want to now have this moment where I branch off to another idea. Mm -hmm. And so when I do select that artboard, I now see the different color and a different node that I mm -hmm. can now play mm -hmm. with. So clicking that plus will now add a different branch that I can start to work off of. Nice. And, and now all of these are little X's um, of the ones in the past, so I can collapse any of those, or on the right side I can click to mm -hmm. continue. Um, so I'm going to click this um, X to close out. No, I'm not. I'm going to continue. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Pause. On the flow. Going down here, continuing. Yes. yes right? Yes. Okay, now I finished my now flow. You finish so now right. I can collapse. Now I ha I've decided, okay, I want this blue flow here. So clicking on the the orange mm -hmm. close out here basically collapsing so now I can see just the one focus view cleaner view of the version I mm -hmm. want to go off of mm -hmm. but I now still have that idea nice. in this note here yeah and so I can always go back and sort of click on that and oh I like that a lot it. that's really cool mm, nice all right. all right I like that I like where that's headed what do you guys think yeah let's know it should be updated in the link oh Matthew that's a that's a really good point actually I was talking about that exact thing today um, so when you share a link right now, um, mm. say if the artboard is bigger than like a mobile screen, it's sh it shrunk a little bit, it's scaled down a little bit. And you, if you want, you can get rid of all the Chrome and everything and go into a full screen mode. Um, what do you guys think about that? Do you like that? Do you find that useful? Do you think we could do it a better way? Um, let us know. Let us know here in the stream. Because um, like I said, we were just talking about that exact thing today. There's actually some updates that we want to kind of roll out in the coming months around the prototype viewing experience. So if you got feedback on that, let me know. Go to the user voice forum. You can also kind of hit do that there. You can hit us up on Twitter. Uh, again, that's one of the most, I think, exciting parts of designing and developing XD is that even from our first, first release, our early pre-releases or the beta, you know, we were getting that direct user feedback. And then we were rolling, using that to guide our roadmap. And then we were, you know, we're releasing monthly updates. So it's a way for us to, to, to I don't know, just be more responsive, right? So let, let me know what you think about that. Matthew, that's definitely something, um, if you want to hit me up, I'd love to follow up with you on that one as well, so. Yeah, I think it's great that you guys have so much user feedback from everybody because mm -hmm. I think it's hard also when you do use the app yourself or you're using something and you think of yourself as the, as the user constantly mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you can also get in a trap with that where you just you thinking a lot about yourself which is good and that you are the user but um it's good to also have a bunch of feedback from yes. everybody else no, on a lot it of definitely things. is um tim that's a good point on that too i mean i think that that that's that's really easy for me to fall into. Is it like I designing XD so I can design an XD? Yeah. But you know I use it in a very sometimes maybe a little more specific way than someone else might use it. Or again like my I might be in a different phase of my work. Or again I'm just not looking at all the features all the time because it's now a really complex application even though yeah. it's very very simple to use. Um, so yeah it's that, that's we kind of you know we 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 we're building this together. You know we're building this with the, with designers. Um, so it's great to have a connection, I gotta yeah. say. So, um, all right, so we, we're kind of getting down to it here. So if you guys go check out uh, the link to, to Project Evolution, as, as we're calling it, uh, and we will, um, we're gonna go check out some, some apps right now that everyone's been designing, some travel-themed apps. So I have a handy spreadsheet here, and we're gonna go and we're going to check them out. So if you've uh, posted up on in the chat or on Twitter, if we missed one, let us know. But we're gonna walk through them right now. We're gonna start here with Chenav. All right, we got a login here. Just plan it. Just plan it. Yes, let's plan it. Oh, very nice. I've oh, got some flights. Well, that's where I gotta start. Of course, some flights get some hot deals there, but I'm gonna go start with flights. Oh, got some background blur. Mm -hmm. Background blur. Very nice. I'm gonna go back. All right. That was great, Tanav. Very nice. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. 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 Got some good stuff going on. Okay, Luke. Let's go check out Luke's here. 
Ooh, yes. yes. I was just in Zion. Hmm, that reminds me a little bit of that. Mount, Mount, Mountender. I was like, how do you say that? Mountender. 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 Oh, it's 13 degrees, I think, Celsius <laughs> in Iceland right now. Um, I, I don't want to book that. Oh, no, Switzerland. Let's go check out Switzerland. I love Switzerland. Basel, have you ever been to Switzerland? I have been, yeah. Yeah, Basel's an amazing town. Need to go back there, eat some schnitzel. <laughs> Austria, oh, I like, I, I mean, I just, I, I grew up I like in the, the imagery. Yeah, the yeah, very nice imagery. I like that one a lot, very nice. Okay, that was Luke's, oh, Sarah Beat. Let's go check out that. Go explore. Let's see, I'm a guest, yes. Oh, very nice. Should we go? Let's go to London. Awesome. Very nice job. You got the back button wired up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice transitions. Very nice. Very nice. Good. See, we look at, we had, of course, we saw Hassan's earlier. Yes, the black and whites. Really nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Feel. Mm. Thinking from the from the screen here, how did I get there? That's a good question. Good, good something for Hassan to think about. All right, where to go? Moscow. Oh, yes. And he added, the look scroll. at that. The nice. scroll is there. Way to go, Hassan. Looks good. Very nice. Look at that. So we're all just like designing in real time and giving feedback. Yeah. I like this map. It's really nice. Nice moody imagery. All right. That's part of like, you know, conveying that brand the whole deal. Right. Um, very nice. Got some stuff in there. Couple screens. Oh, hello. All right. Oh, we got one just rolling in here. No Hot off the presses. Yeah. Gus hasn't collected the name there. He will add it. Let's see. It's going to start with a reservation. Oh, yep. Got to type in. Oh, it looks auto completing here. My, my flight number. Oh, all right. So this would fit in with Vegas. We were just in Vegas for Adobe Max. Yes. It's exactly how you want to roll down this trip, right here. Oh, and you, you didn't know. roll down this trip in that. No, I was. That's, that was my ride. <laughs> no, we had a stretch Hummer. <laughs> there was a lot of us, I did hear you about know. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it went and grabbed it from Adobe Stock. More, more nice. on that coming soon, I believe. So, oh, we're gonna reserve. Yes, we're gonna reserve that one. I mean, I, I wanted the Lamborghini, <laughs> but I'll, yeah, I'll go with yeah. that one. Confirm, yes. And we got some nice sort of motion going on there in the imagery. Very nice, Zephyr, that was very nice. That was Bill, Bill, very nice. Okay, so we've got rent a car, we've got our untitled. travel app, untitled travel app here. We've got Hassan's moody trip to Moscow. <laughs> Moscow is a very moody city. It's the mo it's probably an, it kind of the, one of the most emoist, maybe emo cities. So um, let's see. We've got Go Explore. We've got Travel Mount Maten Mount Mountainder Mountainder, and just Planet. I think. And do we have the exercise one? I think. Is the dog one that we looked at? Uh, travel. Well? That one won. That one already won. That one already won. Yeah. It was just an ex example to get everybody excited. Good example. I did love that dog one. That was that was really good. All right. Okay. So here we go. Those were our choices. What do you think, Danielle? I have to say, I I really liked the black and white travel. The movie. I just also love the fact that I went back in and added that scroll in. That I, kind of I, that I, that was really <laughs> that was nice. I really like that. That was um, really good, Hassan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hassan, I I think I think it's I think it's unanimous. Yeah. 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 Anyone else? We still got a couple minutes. We, you know, we're not like, you know, calling that like done yet. But you have got a couple minutes. But I don't know. Let's see if you can outdo. Yeah. Hassan. Hassan's <laughs> Hassan's leading the pack here with his moody trip to Moscow. Yeah. And again, like what we really loved is that you know we we talked about it right here on stream. We said, hey, you could go make this scrollable. And then he went and did that and he updated it and it was the same link and there it was, bam. Yep. Yep, that was really great. So Sarah, Sarah just posted last minute here. Eileen, Eileen, we're gonna check it out. We're not we're not done yet, we still have nine minutes. So if you guys have any more other questions while we're here. Any, any, any questions for the other designers who are using XD maybe for the first time out there? That was really great. So definitely let the, the chat 
No. Oh, there's Sarah. Let's go check out Sarah. Wave travel. Elite guy, yes. So relaxation. Start a quest. Use that. I like I like start it. That's very nice too. I'm gonna start a quest. Oh, Spain. I was just talking about Spain the other day. There's a great festival. There's a great uh, conference there. The off. The off festival. Yes. Did you go? You guys went. Same. We ran into each other. That's right. I believe. It was we my did. Friend, but that was what two years ago. I know. I, I miss yeah. it. I keep thinking about it. Yeah, I want to go back. I was like, just That's... thinking about that. Yes. Oh yes, I want to go back to Barcelona. You should make it happen. Thanks, Sarah. That was great. I definitely want to go back to Barcelona. Leronis, <laughs> Mohammed. Coming in last second as well. Oh, Mohammed, you should go grab that artboard. Just stretch it, select it, stretch it from the bottom. Automatically scrolling. Go do that real quick. Oh no, a colon. <laughs> 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 I think this is a health app. I think this one maybe isn't travel related. Oh boy. Yeah, healthy blog, that's its title. Oh, oral thrush. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that next time. I have oral thrush. That's <laughs> that's that's a, not a good. I don't know. I maybe yes. It's not a good thing to have experience with. <laughs> Took a turn that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I wasn't. Quickly, I was just like very quickly. Here I am, just like reading in the moment. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> all right. I'll, uh, that's that's. I'll just not think maybe about that. Maybe it's a trip the... to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah, thrush is bad. Mm -hmm. I. Unfortunately, one of my kids had thrush one time. Really? And they were tiny. Yeah, it was it was not fun, not fun mm. at all. Not a lot of sleep was had by anyone. Uh, <laughs> Tanov, yes, we saw your Tanov. It was great. I believe we did. Yep, we did. And Sarah says it's the, her first time using XD. Sarah, awesome. That's awesome. I'm so glad yeah, you like it. Yeah, the thing came out really well for your first time. We, yeah, me. definitely, definitely. And did you did you follow along with our sample file? I'd love to know if you did. Sarbeet did added some scroll. Which one was that one? That was somewhere here. Doesn't this? Did I not to refresh it? Did I scroll? I may have missed it. Maybe it didn't update. Did you make sure you publish it again, Sarbeet? Oh, dog. Andy's still working on Dog Explorer. It's so good. I want a dog. Dog Explorer has been updated. Yeah. Let me see. I'm going to reload this. Which one did you did you scroll, Sarbeet? Oh, I don't know if it updated. Maybe it updated to a new link. Looks like Tanav yeah. says, first time using XD also. I was just, so The Just Planet. Yep. Yeah. I think it was great, Tanav. Really nice. So, Tanav, uh, preloaded icons. We don't have any... Yeah. Well, we do have the UI kits. So, if you want a like, good starting point, the UI kits from, from Google... <laughs> you just got a zoom. It's got a zoom of a close up of me. Thanks, Michael. Uh, and uh, yeah, go. The UI kits are great to start because actually there are a bunch of icons in there. If you download the iOS one or the Android Material one or the Windows UI kits, uh, there's a bunch of icons in there, and they're a great starting point as well. So check those out. Um, as well, there's a couple sort of you know uh, travel related icons. Hint, hint. In uh, my in in the app, the tutorial file when you're designing along with me, a couple in there. So check it out. Um, do we have a winner? Yeah, we do. We do have a winner. I think we 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 really again like part of it is is kind of again part of design. I think is the user experience, but there's also that level of you know design and fit and finish and um just overall sort of brand and i think we danielle and i really liked hassan's black and white travel to moody moscow i'm assuming this is in i'm thinking this is in the winter which is probably if you're like hardcore is the only time you want to go to to feel really get that full russian experience 
Yeah. Moscow. Congrats, in the fall. Hassan. The, congrats, yeah. Hassan. Really nice job. Yep. Uh, thanks, dude. No, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Again, we just like talking. We're just we're just <laughs> nerds for design tools and design in general. Speak for yourself. No, no, I uh, no. no <laughs> I, I, you know, I recognize. Uh, we know not spirit. about this stuff. Yeah, yeah, when we're not on the stream, like before this, when we're like, what should we do today? Like, it's no, just it's the best. We can't stop. Talking it's the best. If you guys it. have any suggestions on what we should design tomorrow, we can keep going on this. I think there's a ton to still do on Project Evolution. But Danielle and I are also not against just trying something completely new, completely yeah. off the wall. So if you have any suggestions for us of what features you'd like to see in XD that are not rulers, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we will. Well, I, mean, we, I mean, we could design rulers in XD. I guess, you know, I, I, I like a good challenge. I don't know. Let us know on Twitter yeah. if, you, uh, if you have something that you want us to design, a new feature in XD. Yeah, because last time we did, we explored two different ideas. Like the first day, one idea, low fidelity. The yeah. second day, another idea, low fidelity. And then the third day, sort of whichever one brilliant. you guys are sort of interested in taking it to the next level and really seeing it through and higher fidelity. So we could do that again. So if you guys have any other yeah ideas um, for things you would be interested in seeing in XD, the feature, we can go through that. Yeah. All right. So we have, we have one more stream today. Daniel? Tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Morning. Okay. Tomorrow morning. You guys join us. It was at 9 a.m. Pacific. 9 a.m. Pacific. Daniel Allegria, UX designer, really fantastic UX designer, is going to be hosting and designing. Nope, just 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 doing his own thing. Yep, he's going to be one man show. With oh, with Michael, with Michael, Michael Chase, Mr. Michael Chase, marathon streaming host. <laughs> marathon host. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and there's going to be a whole new theme for tomorrow. So tune in. Actually, is there a new theme per stream? Uh, per day. Per day. Okay. So new theme tomorrow. So you can you could tune in early, get the theme. Yeah, you get the theme at nine. At nine. Nine, 9 a.m. Pacific. You will learn tomorrow's secret theme for designing, and then Danielle and I will join again and design some more features for XD and take a look at all your prototypes and give feedback. <laughs> Adobe Sensei might, yes, make an appearance in Michael. <laughs> <laughs> From fatigue. Sensei, yes. <laughs> Sensei is in all of us, so it's it's ready to step in at any any moment. Bill, thanks for joining us, man. Great work. Um, Sarah Beat, she's just like just like knocking out updates. I don't know if actually if it's it's a he or her. I'm guessing. I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's just yeah, it's awesome. Love seeing the work, guys. Thanks for for checking it out. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Um, <laughs> Tim, Tim's still gonna be talking about rulers tomorrow, I think. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, go give us feedback on our prototype. Let us know. Hit us up on Twitter if you want to see us design anything else. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Any trips planned this week, Danielle? You're staying there next week soon? Is that, is that it for the holidays? I think that'll next? be it. I think right. Las Vegas was enough to hold that me was, through that was before good. the next break, yes. Yeah, everybody go check out our keynote. Our keynote. I think they're archived up there on YouTube, so go check out the keynote, the big XD 1.0 announcement, um, the new icons. Also, there's a great post on Medium about from the from the icon te- the brand icon team uh, talking about the new um, new file format icons. Yeah. So by the, the amazing designer, Annie Chen. So go check that out on Medium if you if uh, you have a chance. So I'll post it on Twitter as well later. That's good. So yeah, excellent. All right, guys, that was awesome. All right, second time hosting. How did how did, how did you do? Great job. All right, really good. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Yes, thanks. Danielle. Thanks for joining me. It's <laughs> yeah, always fun designing. Danielle never and I we never get to work each other with each other day to day. So this is this is a real treat. Yeah, we never me, actually so. have ever worked on the same. Team no, together. we haven't. We haven't been what like two three years now yeah never all right i'll convince her one day to join my team maybe <laughs> <laughs> all right excellent cool. look at that look killing time like pros <laughs> all right all right thanks guys thank you